Now, if you wanna do anything with your text beyond just typing in a straight line, learning how to type on a path is gonna be super important. And luckily it's really easy to do here in Photoshop. Hello friend, my name is Brandon from bewillcreative.com. And before we talk about typing on a path, let's quickly go over how to create a path. Because if you know these different options, you will open a few more doors of the different effects you can create with your text. So the first and easiest option to create a custom path is using the pen tool. You can access that tool here in the toolbar or you can press P on your keyboard. This tool works by adding an anchor point everywhere you click. And as you add more anchor points, it creates a path between those two points. You can click and drag out to curve that path. And that's why this tool is really good for creating wavy text or things like that. Now, if you wanted to make your text follow a specific shape, like a circle or a triangle or something like that, then the shape tool is gonna be a better tool for the job. You can access any of your shape tools here within your toolbar. For this example, I'll use the ellipse tool. And then in the options bar, this is really important. You need to make sure that your shape tool mode is set to path and not shape. So then that way, when you click and drag out, it will create a path rather than a shape. So you can type on it basically. Now for this example, let's start by creating a path in a circular shape with my ellipse shape tool. With my ellipse shape tool selected and its mode set to path in the options bar, I'll click and drag out like so, holding shift key to create a perfect circle and the space bar if I want to reposition it. Now with that path created, we need to begin typing on the path. So to do that, we need to of course access the type tool by pressing T. Now go and hover your cursor right over the line of the path and notice that little squiggly line that appears. Just click once, once you see that, and now your text will be following the path that you just created, whatever shape it might be in. Now, in this case, I'm just going to quickly replace this placeholder text with something different. Now, once you've added your text onto a path, that's all great and dandy, but you probably want to format it, be able to position it either on one side or the other of the path, or even center it and align it to other objects in a photo. So let's first talk about how to position your text on your path. Now, when you click on your text, you'll notice this little icon that appears at the starting point of your text. Now, at first, it might appear as a circle, as you see here, but if you hold Command or Control and click and drag this out, notice what happens to my text. As I drag out, more and more of my text is being revealed, and that's because we are defining a new start point for the text. So as I click and drag this over, my text will follow. So therefore, you can see that the X is the starting point, while this circle is the ending point of the text. So you probably start to get the idea here that you can move these two points by holding Command or Control to position your text on your path. So since I want this to be positioned on the upper part of this ellipse path, I'm gonna hold Command or Control and move the end point over to the middle of the path on this side. Now this hides some of the text, but that's not to worry because I can just move my start point here, holding Command or Control once again, over to the other side like so, and now that is nicely positioned. Now these two points don't only just move your text along your path, it also defines where your alignment will be as well. So for example, with this text layer selected, I can set it to center align and notice how it centers between my start and end point on my path. So that's something that's really helpful to know about as you're trying to align things together. Now, if you wanted to take your text that's on the outside of your path and put it on the inside of your path, all you have to do is just hold command or control, click on one of those points and then drag inwards like so, and then it will flip to the other side of your path. Of course, you might have to move it around so that it's not upside down, but you start to get the idea of how this works. From there, you can do any of your other adjustments here within the characters panel or in the upper options bar while your type tool is selected, just as you would when you're editing any other text layer in Photoshop. So whether you're using one of the shape tools or a custom path with the pen tool, the exact same steps apply. This way you have a ton of different options for ways you can creatively shape your text in any project that you're working on. Now, if you learned something today and you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit that like button down below. And of course, consider subscribing to stay up to date with more Photoshop tutorials just like today. Anyways, my name is Brendan from bewillcreative.com and I hope to catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.